Just uh, doing a little bit of damage there for Forrest as he cleans up with four kills. They even knew he was on the bomb side there as well. It doesn't matter for Forrest. He steps up and gets MIP the round single-handedly there. They can slow this down in IP, but it's just four us remaining, and that gives away his position entirely, but brings it back to the one-on-one, -on -one. because with 12 seconds, he's got to take the gamble, and now he'll know it's on to be. But Forrest won't get good post-plant positioning out of this, but he wow. won't get the headshot. Bonnick immediately down. to breathe and Forrest aware of it's gonna fall back and try and play the angles use that extra time that now is on the bomb okay though that becomes a bit of a problem there is one just in front he'll pick that up now on the corpse he's made a point of doing so and he's gonna find Markalov that works out well for an IP and a must win round Play. Bond is spot one that's get right and at least sees him in turn and doesn't go down and keeps him alive and relevant for the retake but First and foremost, they've got to get that bomb planted if it is going to be a retake. And that means confronting the two players inside of B, who set a crossfire and find two for the price of one in change. It's going to be for us to get Markalov add to the total and world at it in a very awkward and dire position. And checker room does fall to Forrest as well. There it is. As soon as he gets the M4 back out, Matt, he gets four kills. This is what we need to do.